Hello everyone, today I want to talk about HTML5. HTML5 will be the new standard for HTML. The previous version of HTML, HTML 4.01, came in 1999. The web has changed a lot since then. HTML5 is still a work in progress. However, the major browser support many of the new HTML5 elements and APIs. Uh, and the next, I will explain how did HTML get started. HTML is the cooperation between the World Wide Web Consortium uh, W3C and the Web Hypertext Application Technology Working Group. Web Hypertext Application Technology Working Group was working with web form and application and why web consortium was working with SHTML 2.0 in uh, 2006. Uh, they decided to cooperate and create a new version of HTML. And uh, the next is some new feature of HTML5. Uh, some of the most interesting new features is HTML5. Uh, the canvas element for 2D drawing. The video and audio element for media playback. Support for local storage. New content specific element like article, footer, header, nav navigation, session. New form control like calendar, date, time, email, URL, search. Uh, HTML5 is not yet an official standard and no browser has full HTML support. But on major browsers, Safari, Chrome, Firefox, Opera, Internet Explorer continue to add new HTML5 features to their latest version. The next thing I want to talk is about the canvas in HTML5. The canvas is a new element in HTML5 and it adds a very important role in web design currently. The canvas element is used to draw graphics on the fly on the web page. Draw a red rectangle, a gradient rectangle, a multicolor rectangle and some multicolor text onto canvas. What is canvas? The HTML5 canvas element is used to draw graphic on the fly via scripting, usually JavaScript. The canvas element is only a container for graphic. You must use a script to actually draw a graphic. Canvas has several methods for drawing pad, bosk, uh, circle character, and identity images. Internet Explorer, 9 Plus, Firefox, Opera, Chrome, and Safari support the canvas element. Uh, create a canvas. A canvas is a rectangle area on an HTML5 page and it is specified with the canvas element. Uh, by default, the canvas element has no border and no content. Uh, always specify an ID attribute to be referred to in your script and with an height attribute to define the size of the canvas. Uh, you can have multiple canvas elements on the HTML page. The canvas is a two-dimensional grid. Uh, the upper left corner of the canvas has coordinate uh, zero, uh, comma zero. Uh, so the fill rate method above has the parameter zero zero.
So the few rectangle matter about has uh, the rectangle 0, 0, uh, 150, uh, 75. Uh, this means that, that the upper left corner 0, 0, 0 and draw uh, uh, 150 uh, multiply 75 pixel rectangle. Coordinate sample. Match of a rectangle below to see its east and y coordinate. Canvas pad uh, to, uh, to draw a straight line to the on, uh, to draw a straight line on the canvas. We will use uh, the following two methods. Uh, canvas can do many things such as uh, canvas uh, part, uh, canvas text, uh, canvas uh, gradient, um, and uh, canvas image.